Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. I'm going to be making videos of me field testing receivers. I'm going to be range testing them. And now what I'm going to do is do set up a penetration test that I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do line of sight range testing. Now I'm going to use the same criteria for every receiver that I check. I will be using the Jumper T16 for all of them and I'll be keeping the antenna directly upright and this is going to sit in the window of my house and it would be at this direction so the receivers will be in that direction. It will be, obviously you can't adjust the power on this but when I do crossfire um, and tracer receiver test I will put the, tr the transmitter on full power uh, because I think you, I will need to do that so you can't, won't be able to comparatively check, uh, compare those two the uh, 2.4 gigahertz re receivers but that, that's how I'm going to do this test so this will be sitting in the window as if you were flying and I will be going that direction with the receivers I'm going to do the penetration test which will mean actually where I'm sitting the receiver will be left on my desk here and then I will walk away with the radio and carry on going and I've got a route where there are trees and f to figure out when I get uh, uh, low RSSI or uh, critical RSSI or it fail safes. So that's how I'm going to do the uh, penetration test and that will be done exactly the same way and I will measure that distance each time. I'm going to use a, a rotary measuring stick that um, road builders use. Then I'm going to do the line of sight test. Now the line of sight tests are going to be at 500 meters, then at 585. Now the 585 meter test has a, as my cottage and it has trees in the way. Then I'm going on to 1000 meters, then 2000 meters, and then uh, for crossfire I've got uh, a distance which is line of sight to my house and you can see my house, and that is five kilometers away. Now let me show you the setup I'm going to use for the receivers. You can see that I've used a flight controller there. Now this flight controller is an all-in-one and the ESC burnt out, so I'm using it just to power the receivers. Then you can see how I've mounted the receiver. Now if a receiver has dual antennas, I'll mount it like this. If it only has one antenna, I'm going to put it upright. Now let's take a look at the penetration test that I did on this receiver. Yeah, I'm just going to skip down here. We're going to start at the same point every time. That's at 58.7 meters. RSSI low. That's at 73.2 meters. RSSI critical. 82.5 meters. Ninety-one point five. Telemetry lost. And telemetry lost at exactly one hundred meters. Now I'm going to carry on. That's how I'm going to do the test to the first fails. Then after that, after curiosity, so this failed at one hundred meters exactly. It was exactly one hundred meters. Now I know that's not in a straight line, but I will be testing all the receivers the same way, walking down the same area. And I can see that the 
the DBs on the RSSIs are stagnant, so I'm sure it's fail safe. So I'm going to turn around here and that completes the test. Now I'm going to take the receiver with me and see when there's a fail safe on the receiver when the green receiver light goes red. So we're going to measure this again too till we get to the first fail safe. This is going to be a little bit difficult for me to see. So I'm measuring again. Okay, the green light has started flashing, which I assume is micro fail safe, but it's still green. And we are at 79, 80 meters. There we go, it's flashing quite a bit now. Okay, it's flashing quite erratically now. It's still green. There we go. Our first fail safe is at 112.3 meters. 112.3 meters. When it went off and came back. I'm now going to go until I get to continuous. Okay, I would say that's continuous. No, I don't think you'll be able to fly though. That will definitely be a serious fail safe. But let's go on until it stays red. No, it's picking up again. Okay, there we go. I think I can back up. Just a little bit. Oh, we're still fell safing. Let me go back until it goes green again. There we go, there. Go forward, there we go. Okay, so that was 127.8 meters. It's definitely constant fail safe. There we go, I'm gonna get fit doing this. Now let's take a look at the TP points. These are my test points. Now if we go over to my computer, you can see that the 500 meters mark, you can see the arrow to my house and to my window. That distance is 500 meters clear line of sight. Let's go into TP2, test point two. And you can see here, my house is through here. Now my cottage and this tree and a few other trees are in the way. So it's not a true line of sight test but I wanted to give you some idea of the where I was testing the receivers. Then we move on to the thousand meters and you can see my house there, clear line of sight to it. Then we move on to the two uh, thousand meter and my house is there. So you can see it's a definite um, line of sight. And when I drop the receivers down to the floor, I lost signal and you can see why, because you're going below line of sight. Now let me show you the footage I shot when I was testing the RXSR receiver. Now I'm not going to put record this each time I do a receiver, but this is the first video I'm shooting, so I want to show you how I'm doing it. And then I can always reference you back to this video if you wanted to see exactly how I did this process. I'm now at test point one, and you can see my house up there. 
and you can see the chair and just below that chair is where my radio is and this is 500 meters away from there so if i go to the radio hopefully you can see this the oopsie daisy the green light is on i can see the green light there so we are linked to the radio i am data logging on the radio so i'll be able to check the rssi when i get back to my uh, house now i'm at test point two which is 484 meters away, but my house is just through there at a slight angle. So let's take a look at the receiver. I'm gonna turn this around. Okay, we have got, we have got a green light. It is flashing a bit, but we've got a green light. So when I get back to the house and my studio, then I'll have a look at the telemetry data and see what sort of RSSI we were getting here. I'm now going to move on to point number three. I'm now at test point three and you can see that we've got a green light on the receiver and my house is over there and it is a kilometre away to this point. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to the studio and then we'll have a look at the data logging and see what RSSI we had here. I'm now going to move on to the next point which is point four which is two kilometres which I'm not sure if this receiver will be able to do but let's go and test it. As you can see I have got a green light there and my house is over there and this is two kilometres away from my house. So we, it looks like we are still connected. So again, we will check the log data when I get back to see what the RSSI was at this point. I'm not gonna push this receiver any further because I think most of the receivers I will check up to two kilometers and see what the RSSI is, but Crossfire and Tracer, I will test those to a five kilometer point, which is over there, which you can see my house. I have a direct line of sight for five kilometers. So I will be doing that with the tracer and the crossfire. I will be testing non-telemetry receivers. Now, when I test these, what I'm going to do is be looking for a fail safe. That's all I can do. So when I do the test, I'll be looking for the fail safe. And then I'll measure that distance on the penetration test. And on the same, as when I go to the set distances, the 500, 585, 1000 meters and 2000 meters. But with the telemetry, I'm gonna be data logging the telemetry in my radio. So that when I get back to uh, my, my studio, I can then download those and have a look what the RSSI was. Now the way I'm going to uh, analyze the figures is I'm gonna take the first full two minutes of data so the first, if I start up and then it's, um, it goes to 30 seconds and it goes to the first minute, then I'm going to start the test. I will take 120 readings and then get a mean average of that. And then I will show you what the highest and lowest RSI was uh, for that particular receiver. And this will all be put into a chart that you will be able to see. My receiver tests are very unscientific and could give you far different results in other situations, but I wanted to do them for my own curiosity and I wanted to share them with you. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye.